raise and support your vehicle, the drive shaft from the transfer case to the front axle is located here and connects to the front differential here. Before removing the front drive shaft, mark the two components so that when we reinstall it, we can line them back up the way they came apart. Spray these bolts as best you can with some rust penetrant. Use a 11 millimeter wrench to break these free. I'm also gonna brace the drive shaft with, with a pry bar. Find a good spot. Now that I've broken these free with a regular wrench, I'm gonna use a 11 millimeter ratcheting wrench to speed up the process. These are pretty loose now, I'll take them out with my fingers. Place those aside so you don't lose them. Need to get the drive shaft out of the U-joint. I'm just gonna pry up on it a little bit. This one's pretty stuck. I'm gonna use a large punch and a hammer to try to free it up. There it is. Just had to free it up. It was, they get rusted together. Spray some more rust penetrant in there. There it is. Just had to work it out. So this drive shaft can actually be pushed backwards. And then we'll spin it out of the U joint. With the drive shaft in one hand, I will take a large or a pry bar and a large flat bladed screwdriver or a large flat bladed screwdriver. I'm gonna work it under this boot and try to push it off. As I spin the drive shaft, there is a lip it has to get over. I think I've got it. Once the lip is off of there, you can slide the drive shaft out of the transfer case. So we're gonna line up our match marks that we made earlier. This one here, this one here. But first, I'm gonna slide it up over the cross member. Guide the drive shaft into the transfer case. To line up the splines, it'll slide right in. Push it in, push the boot over. It'll go into the little channel, the lock. That's secure there. Now we can go back up, put it in our front drive shaft into the differential. You may need to spin this around, but just be aware that we need to match up our lines that we made before. in here. This actually has a little bit of play. It can go backwards a bit. Do something like this. Just kind of move the U-joint around. Okay, so over here now we've got our, our match marks from the same spot. So I'm going to pull the drive shaft out and seat it into the little U-joint cups. Reinstall our bolts and the brackets that hold the U-joint on. Brace the drive shaft with a pry bar. Torque these bolts to 19 foot-pounds.
drive shaft is reinstalled. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.